This week we have actually two readings in the Torah. I'm not going to explain the whole reason why, but the point is that there's a reading called Masay. Masay means trips, traveling. The Torah describes the 42 places where the Jewish people traveled through the desert, coming out of Egypt and going into the land of Canaan to transform it and make it the land of Israel. Now, it is known that the word Torah comes actually from the word Torah, which means teaching. So the Torah is actually a whole bunch of teachings, and not just teachings about history. We know when the Jewish people left Egypt, this, this happened and that happened, etc. Rather, it's teachings that apply to us in every single place in the world and in every single time in an era in the history. Now, what is the teaching that the Jewish people traveled actually 42 in 42 places from Egypt into the land of Canaan, etc.? What's the teaching over here? One of the ideas behind this is that the Torah says, Eile Masai Bnei Israel, this is the tr- these are the trips of the Jewish people, Asher Yotzu Meretz Mitzrayim, that they left the land of Egypt. Wait a second, in order to leave the land of Egypt, actually you need one trip from, actually that's the way the, these cities are called in the Torah, from Ramses in Egypt into Sukhois out of Egypt. You need just one trip. Why is the Torah calling this trip Travelings, trips in plural. In order to understand this, we have to understand what Egypt means actually in a spiritual way. The word Egypt in Hebrew we say Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim is also related to the word Metzarim, which means oppression, limits. The trips that the Jewish people travel through the desert, 42 trips, etc., etc., to go into the land of Canaan, to transform into the land of Israel, are actually trips, living, limits, and oppression. It's the same thing in different words. Each one of these trips is actually something that happens to our life as a people in history of the world. The Jewish people, like being born, that's the beginning of the trips, and going through all this exile where the presence of God is hidden, and afterwards, the coming of Mashiach, of the Messiah speedily in our days, which would mean like going into the land of Canaan to transform the land of Israel, etc. This is one way of looking at the trips, like in a big history uh, perspective. But then you can look at those trips in your own life, like when you are born and then you start your path through life, etc., etc., until the moment that God decides that you don't have anything else to do in his world. You fulfill your mission or your fulfill the time given for your mission, etc. So those trips are not just a historical fact. Rather, those trips teach us that our life is a trip. Now, going back to the question, why is it expressed in plural, must say trips? To go out of Egypt, you just need one trip. And the idea is that every single step you go up, so to speak, you go forward in your life, you go out of one Egypt, of your own life, one oppression and limitations, etc., etc., into the new level, that this new level, when compared to the previous level, is actually a very good thing, and you actually went over difficulties and challenges, etc., etc. However, this new level, compared to the next level, it's Egypt. It's limitations. So every single step you give in your life, you're constantly going out of Egypt. So, the Torah is teaching us a very powerful thing. First of all, those trips are not just historical fact, rather, that's a description of our life. And second point, you should never think you actually reached a place. Judaism is not about reaching anything. Judaism is about actually being on the run. As long as you're on the run, you're good. If you stopped, you're dead. It's just like, it's just like a bicycle. When you actually work on the bicycle and you go forward, that's fine. But if you stop working on the bicycle, that's it. You fall. You can't go back and you can't just stay in your place. That's what it means, must say. The trips that the Jewish people went out of Egypt, not one trip, is a constant thing throughout your whole life. That You should know that you have the strength to overcome any challenges 
that are related to the service of God, and you should know. It's not just you have the, it's not just the fact that you have the strength, rather because you have the strength, you have the obligation to go on and move on forward in your life.